correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe you testified that M Mr. Depp did not have the authority to fire you, correct? Correct. With everything that's been sent so far, you'd expect that there's probably nothing new that could come up in the trial. But today has proven that there's a lot that's been hidden. Some of the most surprising revelations made today have all come from witnesses that are supposed to be on Amber's side. But their words have been doing the opposite of helping her. Now, Hurt's former lawyer has spoken to the court via a pre-recorded deposition and several people didn't expect what she had to say. Testifying for Hurt, Michelle Mulrooney spoke about how she was contacted about an Amber Hurt prenup for her marriage to Johnny Depp in late January. January or early February 2015. According to her, the entire point of the whole postnuptial and confidentiality agreement was to identify how much Amber and Johnny had in assets individually, as well as how much they were likely to make in the future so that it is split among both of them in half. A prenuptial agreement or a postnuptial agreement is California what we call a common law property state? No. What is it? It's a community property state. Okay, and what does that mean? Generally means that all earnings after the date of marriage are owned 50, each party has an undivided 50% interest in those earnings. Later, she went on to talk about how Johnny Depp allegedly called her under the influence, verbally attacked her and then fired her on behalf of Amber Heard. However, Johnny's lawyer countered, stating that the actor actually had no authority to fire her, which Mulrooney also confirmed, further bringing up questions about her credibility as a witness. Uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe you testified that M Mr. Depp did not have the authority to fire you, correct? Correct. Although it remains unclear if these revelations affected how the jury already see things, but regardless, we'll find out where all parties stand soon enough.